That's just clawful. Rudy was Emmy's new pet puppy. And he was bursting with energy. He bounded around Doc's garden and landed in the sand pit. He pawed at Lammy, slobbered on Stuffy and tossed sand all over Haley. There was something hidden and all underneath that sand and Rudy was determined to find it. It was Hermie, Doc's toy crab. Rudy picked up Hermie in his mouth and scampered away. After Emmy and Rudy went home, Doc's stethoscope glowed and her toys came to life. I'm sandier than a sea snake in a sand trap, Haley complained. Doc and the toys found Hermie in the vegetable garden, trapped under dirt. They quickly dug him out, but Stuffy noticed something was wrong. One of Hermie's claws had come off. Ah, Hermie said. I'm half the crab I used to be. Let's get you to the clinic so we can reattach that claw, Doc suggested. First, Doc explained her diagnosis. Hermie had claw begonitis. Then she snapped Hermie's missing claw back into place. Your arm should be as good as new, Doc told Hermie. Try moving it now. I don't mean to be crabby, said Hermie, but I don't think my arm's working too well. The crab had lost all strength in his left claw. He couldn't even hold a cotton ball. Doc needed a second opinion. She went inside to consult with her mother. It sounds like your patient needs some physical therapy, Doc's mum said. If you give his arm some exercises, he'll be strong again. Doc said cheerfully, back in the clinic, Doc started Hermie's physical therapy program. He flecked his claw against the resistance of a rubber band. He did a hundred claw push-ups. He climbed up and down a rope. He even bench pressed chili. Soon, Hermie was feeling so strong, he could snap a pencil in half. Your arm's back to normal, Hermie, Doc said but you should keep doing those physical therapy exercises for a week or two. The next time Rudy bounded into the garden, Hermie defended himself with some fancy pencil twirling tricks. Rudy may have had puppy energy, but Hermie was crabbier than ever, thanks to Doc McStuffins.